It is World Photography Day 2024 and the team for today is an entire day. In the studio, we have a veteran uh, photographer and media personality, Mr. Ladi La, and he will be discussing on the topic, One Day, One Nation, capturing Nigeria's story on World Photography Day 2024. It's a pleasure to have you in the studio, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, congratulations and happy World Photography Day. Thank you. What does this mean for the photography world and for creatives around the world, especially in Nigeria? Yes, uh, it means a lot for us in the sense that the more you think about photography, the more cre you think about creative mind, the creative being in you. Yes. You know, and uh, creativity is photography. And first of all, we cannot talk about photography without knowing what is a camera. You do photography with a camera. Yes. A camera is an, ob is a, is an instrument used to capture subjects yes. or objects. Yes. Now, Having known what the camera is, then you will talk about photography itself. What is photography? I think in Greek language, photo is light. Graphy is the art. The art of light is what we call photography. An art, no aspect of light, uh, art goes without creativity, thinking creatively. So, so therefore, creativity is one and one, one and one with uh, photography. You can't just be a photographer just like that if you are not creative in the mind. All these people you see around going in camera, but I call them picture takers. They are not, not necessarily photographers. photographers. Photographers are not many in the world all over. What we call photographers are people who are creative in mind, who can tell a story with their camera. For instance, I can tell a one minute story with, with, that happened between me and you here now. Now, if somebody barges into the studio unannounced, I can do a one minute story on that. In the first place, we, we will, I'll use two cameras to capture the photographic aspect of it. The camera, the camera that faces the man will show the man barging in by force. And the other camera behind him will show us uh, we being surprised or taken aback yes. as to his action. That tells a story. Somebody barges into a ADBM studio. So without saying anything, the person yes. looking at the pictures can already yes. tell what the story yes. is about. Exactly. Now, uh, it's an interesting choice of theme, an entire day. Okay. A bit ambiguous, if you ask me. What does it mean, an entire day? How does it relate to photography? Uh, it relates to photography in the sense that, for instance, something happened around the world recently. In Nigeria, UK, Bangladesh. It was a kind of a week of protests. Yes. Almost every day in Nigeria, in Bangladesh, in India, even. It happened all, almost at the same time. If you turn on your TV, international television stations, there is a protest going on going somewhere. Going on somewhere. The same day. Probably the same time. So, that's how it happened. That's how it, it, it came about. Mm -hmm. Now, l l let me just uh, get your take. As a media veteran, you have sort of uh, seen the evolution of photography over the years, you know, from different uh, cameras to different style of, you know, photography, different style of creativity, uh, and the rest. How do you think that uh, photography has transformed storytelling? especially in the Nigerian context? Yes, it has transformed uh, storytelling. 
in the sense that things that happened during the last, last few centuries, like uh, when we talk about empires like the Songhai Empire, we know we heard about rulers, very powerful and rich rulers, yes. like uh, Musa Kankam Musa, Siyadu Abu Bakar Ture. We heard about them. We didn't see what they look like, except the graphic impression, artist impression of them. But nowadays, some, some of us are lucky to, uh, to see the pictures of people who are rulers in the, this century, like the General Murtala Mohammed, Tafawa Balewa, and things like that. We have library. We have library in NTA, for instance, that have, we have visuals of those people. So not only learning history by just hearing or writing, we can see. And that is photography for you. Without photography, we cannot capture these what images. images. So it has impact. It has, it, has, it has impacted in us the kind of thing we didn't know about. Well, 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 you you have um, highlighted how you know in the past historical figures were not necessarily you know captured vividly via photography because except, it wasn't available except, except artist, artist, impressions, artist impressions. impressions. Now, how would you say the shift from traditional photography, which I believe you started off from, to the digital media? And form of photography which we now see uh, how has it influenced the way stories are told the way you reference if somebody badges into the studio now there is a way you will station two cameras one capturing the person badging in and the other camera capturing our reaction in the past cameras weren't really too common and ordinary for people to see uh, the way it is now right. uh, how has this transition affected ways stories are told? Uh, it, has, it has affected it in the sense that in those days when, when there are t uh, people rely on tabloids or radio for news. These days, these days in the last century, yes. it, has, it has been brought into bear actualities like for instance if uh, my producer has a cameraman who has a, the weapon that's the camera yes if my producer says please we are having an equation at the radio house tomorrow 10 o'clock a good cameraman will be there before the time we first of all tell a story to capture arrivals like a, arrivals he was first of all take the picture, the long shot of the area, venue, yes. banners if there is any, then go inside and take a, a two shots, two shots, two shots of people around who are sit seated on the high table. Then all he has to do when the minister, let's say the minister is press briefing by the minister of information on scorecard of this uh, ministries and parastatas. Yes. The cameraman can do a lot before the producer even arrives. You take the arrivals, the cameraman will take the arrivals, take the high table, take the banner behind, and then just take a paper, the copy of the paper that the minister is going to deliver. By the time the producer comes, he can build himself around the stories that already that is already captured. Captured there. So that's how it it uh, in the past you cannot do that because cameras are uh, were were heavier yeah, back uh, then it wasn't uh, easy uh, to just carry them ar around yeah. and all of that you got it well the, the theme you know an entire day for World Photography Day 2024 is sort of um, challenging photographers around Nigeria to capture the different aspects the unique aspects of you know life in the country if if in your opinion now what key elements do you think these photographers should focus on 
to be able to tell a more compelling story in one day. In one day? Yes. Creativity. We have a lot of things that are worth photographing, photographing in Africa. Yes. Color. Color. And... Uh, Our rich diversity, the different attires, and the rest. That's what I mean by color. By in color. color in all aspects. Okay. Dressing, in our homes, our structures, and things like that, and all that. You know, uh, we have a lot to, to be proud of in Africa, for instance. There are so many people who have not seen, who have not, if you watch the, 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 this channel on television, uh, the Discovery Channel, yes. a lot of animals that we find in Africa, a lot of Africans don't, have not even seen them unless they see them through the camera. Digitally. Digitally. Because they just hear about these animals. No, most of most most of us, you have not seen a lion live before, have you? <laughs> well, I, 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 I have. You have but, seen but, it in the zoo. In the in the zoo, yes. But these uh, photographers capture them. Capture up them also. up for you for you to see. Yes. Underwater cinematography. You see the kind of things under the water. I mean, I've never seen a whale in real life, but I know how a whale looks. It looks like. So, see what photography does. Bringing uh, many things that you cannot see ordinarily, bringing it home for you. For instance, I was sitting in my, my sitting room during the last few weeks. I'm changing channels, international channels, and I was seeing everything that was happening around the world through the, the influence of uh, photography. Photograph. Yes. So, if I had your question very well, it's a uh, It's uh, a tool that uh, opens the eye of the generality of people, human beings, yes. to, to the world today and tomorrow. Now, uh, in, in terms of the challenges that most photographers, especially young photographers, you know, face in capturing the diversity of the country. The color that you spoke about. Now, it's not just about the cultural diversity, the colors, the flamboyant, uh, you know, display of culture and all of that. Other human angle stories like, you know, natural disasters, like the protests that held recently across mm -hmm. the country. There are certain challenges that, you know, these photographers are faced or posed with. One of which is some sort of brutality or hostility from either security operatives in the case of riots or protests where media personnel are trying to film or capture the moment and security operatives are shoving them back. How do we overcome this, this uh, particular bottleneck? Uh, you see, photography, photography is not uh, something that you can just pick up your camera and begin to say you are a photographer. You've got to be trained. If you are a well-trained photographer, you have some expertise. There are some particular photographers who are trained to, be, to work in that kind of environment. Before the security people come to disturb you, yes. you have taken the shots you want. And those shots may never come back again. Because it's a one-time shot. It's a one-time shot. And uh, 
Everybody, all these people calling themselves photographers nowadays, they are not photographers, they are photo takers. Because photography takes thinking, be creative. So before, before any disturbance at all, you have gotten the shots you want. And uh, to stem, to stem all the kind of uh, harassment and things like that yes. that they face. People need to be educated. The, the, the authorities have to need to be educated about the importance of these people who go who work in such difficult uh, situations. Who are meant to capture the no, moment I'm, I'm, for, I'm, for storytelling I'm, and for future reference. reference. For instance, all the all the happenings at the end of end end good governance and bad governance uh, and bad, bad, bad government yes. Have all the people that are concerned that could make a change they were sitting in their homes watching these things most of them are not there photography brings it back home for them yes so i think in in many ways photography has uh, impacted impacted uh, a lot of uh, knowledge in us and stuff like that. Well, well, still speaking about how photography, you know, has been a, you know, tool to impact knowledge, to send across messages, to capture events as they happen. It has also been used as a tool for social change you know capturing things that might have you know as well gone unnoticed however with the advent of photography these events these scenarios are captured for future references like i earlier mentioned now how how can we there are there you know specific examples in your career as a veteran photographer are there specific examples where certain pictures have been taken to use as a tool for social change even by you um yes i was uh, a director in one live program some yes. very some years ago at hilton international hotel yes as we, I was in the OB van. I was in the console, directing the cameras. Yes. Camera one, give me this. Camera two, give me that. We captured somebody who was a camera was set on the high table. We captured somebody who who went to the high table and picked the phones and the pen of somebody who has been invited to the podium to speak, and he was pocketing it. Nobody in the hall knew. But you saw it. We saw it because my cameras can pick. pick. What's that man going to do there? Picking camera two. Can you follow up? That, follow that man. And, we and, saw and that was how you caught him. That's how. We, that's how we now call the security people in charge and say, "Watch that man that is going towards the door. He has put taken the phone of the person on the podium, and uh, that made a." Quite, quite a noteworthy, um, you know. It was a quite a noteworthy uh, action by you guys. Well, we saw it. If we punch the button, it will go on air. But we didn't punch the button. It was a look exclusive. But well, you could see it from the back it end of the ob it was, a, it was exclusive to <laughs> yes. us. Yes. And then there are there are an instance. When uh, my camera, one of my cameras caught somebody sleeping, almost snoring while they were in an occasion. If I punch that to the people to see, that will, uh, that will uh, not be too good enough, yes. a story to tell about the occasion. So those are the kind of things that we see in the course of our work. And uh, go ahead. Well, well, in terms of uh, you know global perspectives and our own local narratives, uh, how would you say 
um, photography can be used to better tell the story of Nigerians, not just in Nigeria, but to the global uh, space out there? And what, in your opinion, is the role of Nigerian photographers in ensuring that a good picture of Nigeria is portrayed out there, both literally and figuratively? Yes. Uh one way is for the photographers to be well trained, know what they want, know what they want to take, and uh, the importance, the, uh, the importance of it, to the what is happening. Uh, Nigeria, for instance, we have photograph, we have photographers, and we have photographers. Yes. Photographers in the sense that it is not just carrying a camera to capture an event. It's a ca carrying the camera to tell a story. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. If I hear your question very well, how does it in uh, impact the international community? How can local photographers better tell Nigeria's stories Nigerian authentic stories to the world out there. It's for the cam it's for the photographers to be there, to be there and to be uh, inquisitive about sorry, about their surroundings, about what we have and yes. what we are, what we have and what we are, and uh, transmitting such to the international channel. Yeah. They, they got to be there. Photography is not just, well, especially in the cities, when they are having occasions and things like that, you see a lot of photographers there. And then when, by the time the event is uh, over, you see them spreading their, the photographs of dignitaries and participants. And, and following them with uh, uh, printed uh, copies exactly. for them to purchase. And if you look at those pictures, they are not good enough. Either, either not, not good shots or they or were not they properly were edited. edited. Or uh, they are not properly printed, or the quality of the camera they are using is poor. It's poor. So that's not photography. That's photo taking. That's photo taking. Picture taking. Picture taking. <laughs> well, well. Uh, in terms of mentorship, we all know that the place of mentorship in a system or an industry like the photography industry cannot be overemphasized and young inspiring photographers in nigeria as it stands now would often look up to you know veterans like you who have seen different transitions of you know the photography style usage of camera and all of that over the decades what is the place of firstly young people in being mentees and what is the place of veterans like you in mentoring these young people to ensure that the standard of photography which you met and upheld is still maintained uh, in the future first of all i think that should be an institute they should put in curriculum of our institution photography photography takes more more than just buying a camera and place, placing it somewhere and take pictures not photographing. Are you with me? Yes. Photography goes beyond that. They should include photography in the curriculum of, uh, of our schools and institutions, like the Department of Mass Communication or Visual Arts. They should include photography for us to be able to get correct, nice pictures of our society to the outside world yes for instance it is not good enough for you to have a camera and point it somewhere for instance camera like like i told you photography is the art of light you cannot put a photograph a camera in the bag and sh and press your trigger and bring it out and see anything because it's, it will be dark there. it will be dark there's no light there there's no light the lens of the camera is just like our own eyes. The, when you go into the dark room, you can't see anything until you come out. Those are one of the, one of the cardinal principles of photography. of photography. 
then you have to be creative, you have to admire, you have to know, you have to be inquisitive. For instance, I don't think I've seen the pangolin before. What? Via photography, you have seen it? I've seen it. Yes. I've not seen it in life before. I've been to one or two zoos, I've not seen pangolin. Yes. But where camera working for TV stations, I've seen one. That is national, and in this channel, National Geography. You, you watch that? Program? Yes, I certainly do. Those are pictures taken by uh, experts, trained photographers. Well, well moving on, um, uh, Mr. Ladi, uh, what is the future of photography in Nigeria? I mean, looking ahead and with the advent of more sophisticated cameras and if perhaps the government decides to inculcate what you have just suggested into our curriculums in um, in schools but uh, secondary schools and tertiary institutions if all of these things all of these measures can be put into place what do you think the future of photography would look like in the coming years in the country oh brilliant if uh that is done. Trained photographers by experts. Open their minds. Anybody who wants to become a photographer in the real sense of it must have an open mind, creative, and get some go to institutions where professionals are and to teach them the art of photography. Yes. We have a lot to show. We have a lot to show in our cities, in our farms, in our forests. For instance, I was watching a news item a few days ago about the Sudan, crisis in Sudan. In Sudan, yeah, the civil war ravaging Sudan. On the medium shots, I can see this, the soldiers in Gestapo manner breaking into houses. And I had a cutaway of two children looking by this, uh, looking at the camera with, uh, you know, with some interest. They don't even know what is happening. But the, but the photographer was able to you tell that tell, story. Tell that story. So you kind of sh show what is happening in, in the Sudan. Camera has captured it. Yes. And uh, at where told, told us the story of how the children, the, the situation of the children in that kind of uh, environment. That is photography. Yes. Now, uh, as, as we look to close up, the style of photography that you grew up with, the mm. style of photography you worked with, is quite different from what is obtainable now. Yes. With the advent of things like artificial intelligence, yeah, yeah the advent of things like virtual reality and all of that. How can this also help boost the photography um, you know, world to ensure that everything is not just left to AI to handle? Because you, know, you could create pictures with AI now without having to lift up a camera. Yes. Just in a few words as we close. Um, artificial intelligence. Yes. It's uh, like taking over the jobs of um, three, three men by one person, four men by one person, or by just a, an object. It may not be proper. It may not be proper because yes. artificial intelligence is not as creative as the mind. Exactly. So, in one way, it will... Uh, expand the scope of our, our photography vi vi visual impressions yes but now it may not it may not necessarily improve the quality of the resilience of the camera of the photographer all, all right mr ladila i must thank you very much for finding the time to come on the program and also share your deep wealth of experience with us on world photography day today thank you very much thank you it's been a pleasure <laughs>